anytime I've ever had problems like that, it's been with a guy. And I and it's always been because I wasn't interested. <laughs> like I cannot stand niggas that get mad because you're not interested. Move on, nigga. There's some pretty girls out there that would be that would love to have you. I'm just not the one. Like, why is it so hard? When a guy don't want me, guess what? My feelings would be hurt. I'm broken hearted. But guess what I do? I move the hell on. Hey, what's up guys? Dominique Danielle here and I am back with another story time. And this time, if you haven't already read the title, it's about when I was bullied in high school. Now, I've been bullied a couple different times in my life. And they've all been really men. That's the most interesting thing though. But anyway, so... I have to tell you about the time I went to Stockbridge High School, okay? Now, I'm from East St. Louis, from the hood. I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, living in the hood, but my mother did not want me to go to a inter-city school. For some reason, you know, she figured you would just be shy. I, I don't know why. But that was her reasoning, and she just did not want me to go to an inner city school. So she was like, I'm going to get you to a, a better area school. So we go all the way out. We had friends of the family and people that we knew for a long time who lived in Henry County. We lived in Atlanta, but we'll go to school. We'll go to Henry County and go to school from there. So, huh. oh, boy, boy, boy. I end up going to Stockbridge High School. Now, mind you, I thought it was going to be an awesome experience because I thought, you know, this is a new school, new people. I've never met anybody new. I'm from a small town. Don't know no one. No one knows me. This is interesting. I was nervous and shy, so I didn't really want to talk much. I, I'm an outgoing, more talkative type of person, but I can be very observant. I can be very closed when I don't know what the surroundings are or, or I don't know the situation or the circumstances of where I am, the environment and all this. I'm very quiet, just always on, you know, just always, always on. For identity purposes, I'm going to name this guy Darren, okay? His name will be Darren in this video. I had one class with Darren, one class with him and lunch, of course. We had the same lunch period. And I remember so well how terrible he made my life. Just, just, just as terrible as he wanted to. I, I don't even know if he realized just how much he, he had to, he had to, because it was awful. So Darren was this guy that was real flashy, always, you know, had new clothes, shoes, was fresh, all that. And he was friends of friends and friends with other friends who everybody knew everybody, you know, popular. I'm not really sure what made him more interested in me, maybe because I was new. I don't really know, but I, I I was very quiet. I didn't really talk much. I was I was friendly, but I didn't say much. You get what I'm saying? I didn't talk a lot, but when I was talked to, I talked. Anyway, he flirts, and he I would see him flirt with other girls all the time, and he flirt, and then he would flirt with me. So I didn't take him seriously. I didn't have no reason to take him seriously. Plus, I don't like guys that do a lot. I don't like flashy arrogant guys. I don't like guys that talk about women after they talk to them or been with them and then expect me to be interested. Like, I, I don't, I'm just, I'm just not into it. I'm not. Okay. If you're the type of guy that likes to tell all other people's business, you're not my type. If you're the type of guy that likes to tell all your business, you're not my type. I just, I, I like a guy who's, who's not a gossipy type of female type. This is one thing I need men to understand. If a real woman wants to date a gossiping, arrogant, flashy, female type of guy, I'm sure she would probably just date a girl. And I like a man. I like a good guy. You get what I'm saying? I'm not into the arrogance and all that. So I would see him flirt with girls all over the place and then talk about them. Hey, Amanda. Oh, yeah, girl, you looking good today. She really stink, though. Stuff like that. You know, you get what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just not with it. I'm not with that. I would see him do that, and then he would flirt with me. I'm, I'm 
definitely not interested. I'm, I'm definitely not interested. It's, it's just that simple. Not interested. But he would still flirt. So I, I didn't really take him seriously because he would flirt with every girl. It, it like so it didn't it didn't even think like occur to me that he would be serious. Well, apparently men tend to want what they can't have because this guy here would not take no for an answer. And when he really realized that my answer was no, it was like he was like like on me, like a tiger. You know what I'm saying? Like her. So <laughs> You heard that roar? Yeah. He would still like, Dominique, you know, come on, you know, I'll be good to you and all. So I'm like, whatever, whatever, Darren. You just, you just playing. You like, you talk and flirt with every girl and whatever. You just too much for me. You know, you cute and everything, but you, you just too much for me. That's how I would play it. One day, he, he really just got fed up of me laughing it off and playing like we was just cool and just keeping it moving. Because he came in front of the entire school on lunch I, I'll never forget this as long as I live in lunch I was sitting down I sit at the table at the time I, I didn't really see at the time I wasn't making any money I wasn't doing anything like that in high school my mother was taking care of me and I didn't have a job at that time I didn't have it like that I had what I needed you get what I'm saying? My mother had the money to make sure I had what I needed. My clothes were clean. My clothes were, if I got new clothes, they were good, good, decent, good clothes. But it's just, I wasn't always in the freshest, like, first name brand type stuff. Like, I just wasn't. And still to this day, I just, I'm just not into, like, name brand don't really matter to me. It, it's about how it looks, only how you make it look and how, it, anyway. But anyway, I wasn't really popular. Matter of fact, I was kind of invisible. And they would actually say stuff about how I never really had new shoes. So yeah, I was basically made fun of and I had new shoes. <sighs> Interesting. And, <laughs> um, so I didn't know why he really tried to like me. So I just was not going to have it. Especially when I would see him talk about girls behind their back after he'd be like, hey girl, you look so good. He'd be like, mm-mm, I'm not, I'm not finna date him. So, he came to me lunch period with the tray in his hand. Dominique, you gonna be my girlfriend or what? Now, keep in mind, I am very shy at this time. I'm very nervous. I don't know anyone. No one really knows me, knows my ethics, knows my morals, knows how I feel about myself and how strong will I really am and how my mind is and how I work. they don't know me. So they don't know you can't just play games with me or, or pull any type of slick shit with me. They didn't really know that. So when he approached me in front of everyone, I'm shy. I don't really like to even talk to out loud and especially not to him because I know he gonna probably talk about me behind my back to other people and make fun of me and laugh. So I didn't want him to do that. And he came to me in front of the whole entire lunchroom and in front of everyone. And I was like, Dominique, you gonna be my girlfriend or what? I'm like, look, Darren, you need to go sit down. I will talk to you after lunch. No, you gonna tell me right now. I wanna know right now if you gonna be my girlfriend or what? Darren, please. Mind you, the entire lunch room goes quiet to get my answer, to hear what I'm going to say. I'm sitting here like, I can't tell this man no in front of all these people. I can't tell him, no, I don't want to be your girlfriend. No, you talk too much. You talk about girls behind their back. You flirt with every girl you see. And you just too much for me. I can't say that in front of the whole school. Because then I knew I would embarrass him. I knew I would. So I told him, I said, Darren, just please go sit down. I'll talk to you after lunch. He stood there at least another 10 to 15 minutes saying, no, no, you're going to give me an answer. No, no, I'm not. Not right now. Go sit down. So finally, he goes and sits down. I was so embarrassed. I had never been, I was so embarrassed. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry because I just felt like he was going to really just show his ass in front of everybody when I just wanted to be to myself. I just wanted to know who these people were and what they meant and what type of people they were. It just, it was a lot being new to a whole new city and state and school. It was just a lot for me. 
He goes, he sits down. Afterwards, he comes to my locker. Dominique, I'm just saying I like you. When you gonna, like, I want you to be my girlfriend. You gonna be my girlfriend or not? So I tell him, finally, after all this time he's been flirting and all this other stuff, Darren, you are too much for me. Like, I know I laugh and joke and joke it off and say that all the time, but really, like, you just too much for me. You you have a lot of different girls you flirt with and all that. Like you just you just do a lot and it's just it's just too much for me. I won't flirt with other girls. I'm just uh, you know that's just me. I'm just they just my friends. That's fine. I don't really care. I I just know I'm I can't I don't. It's too much for me. Why I say that? After that that nigga made my life hell. Hell, I walk into the same because we had history together. I'll never forget it. We had history together. Walk in. Oh, look, this clown is here. And so, you know, everybody who was cool with him would start laughing and all that. And he started making fun of me in front of people and started saying real mean stuff about me in front of everybody. I'm going to give you some examples, okay? Teacher would be like, okay, so what would you say is history? And he'll raise his hand. Dominique's Jordans. And then everybody would start busting out laughing. Now, yeah. <laughs> he would make fun of my Jordans being old. Because they weren't the new Jordans. Because they weren't the ones that came out last week. He would make fun, they would make fun of me and stuff. It would embarrass me so bad. Because he, not only that. He would do stuff like. When the teacher would not. Because they would have a certain amount of time they'd give you to come to class. And I would try to be early to class. So that. If when I walk in, he don't put me on blast. Because every single time I would come a little after him, he would put me on blast. And you had this time frame where you could get to class uh, at least like a five minute. I think it was like a five minute time frame between the time that the class actually started. You had five minutes to be there uh, so that you wouldn't be considered tardy. And so I would make sure I'd go early or I just wouldn't, show, I just wouldn't go to the class. It was a lot. Alright, I would do a lot of stuff to try to avoid being made fun of by him in front of everybody every day. But he would do it every day. And it would be different things too. He would say different stuff. Yeah, so I see you finally got your hair done. Mm. You know, stuff like that. You ain't never got no new shoes. Stuff like that. He would say, you know. And then he got to the point to where he would, he would be so mean that he would come to the back of the class where I was and be like, why you ain't call me? And I'll be like, Darren, I don't have your number. You don't have my number. So you're going to sit here and act like me and you don't talk. Darren, you really are delusional. I, we don't talk. I don't talk to you. Yes, you do. You're going to sit here and act like you don't be talking to me and we'll be talking all night on the phone. I really didn't talk. Like, I don't know. It would be so embarrassing because people would be laughing and laughing at me because he would be so funny making fun of me and putting me down and trying to play me like I slept with him, trying to play me like we talked to each other, trying to play me. He would do me so bad in front of people. I would literally try to skip class just to avoid him. When I tell you he made my life a living hell, it was a living hell. I would go home crying almost every day. And my mother would be like, Dominique, you know... It's going to be all right. Don't pay attention to none of that. And I would go to go to school and it would happen all over again. I would not want to go and ride the bus. Like, I would not want to ride the bus home. Bus home. I would be like, please come and pick us up from school. I would miss the bus to give us the ride to the house so that she would come and my mother would come and pick us up. And though it was a longer drive for her, I did not care. She didn't have to take that bus ride home. That's how I felt at the time. That boy was torturing me. I mean, I will go home crying. I wanted to die. Like, I, 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 I will never forget that as long as I live. I wanted to die. Yeah, Darren, his real name is not Darren. But, Darren, you definitely did whatever it was you felt like you had to. And at the time, it really worked. But it's, it's amazing to say that that shit just passes and, and life goes on. And those people may not even be... Like, I have never seen him again since. Never. 
never seen him again since you never see those people again or if you do it's just like it don't even matter it's just it's just so small. It's really small. Like high school stuff, like that type of stuff, is small. And though it goes a long way, I, I know bullying can go far where people get killed and everything. I, I've seen it. I've seen it. But if you are the people who are getting bullied, understand that this too shall pass. It's just a phase. You got three things you can do about it. Now I'm just going to tell you. Three things you can do about it. You can speak up and say something to them. And try to resolve it by talking. Which, nine times out of town, I ain't never known that to work. You can whoop their ass. I've known that to work. A couple times. I had to whoop a couple asses. And it worked. They left me the hell alone. <laughs> and then that third one. Deal with it. Deal with it. If you're not a fighter, you don't really want to talk about it. And you just deal with it. Because if you tell, they're going to torture you even more. You know that. We know that. Anybody who's being <laughs> bullied, we know. We know better. You're going to tell. Good luck with that. Because now the whole crew, the whole, the everybody, all their friends, friends, friends going to make fun of you and talk about you and dog you out for you telling that that person is bullying you. Ain't worth the fight. Either whoop their ass, deal with it, or try to talk it out. But either way it goes, it's a part of life hard to say that it's it's a part of like it it happens and it happens to a lot of us all of us if not all of us a lot of us are bullies and a lot of times the bullies have been bullied that's why they bully other people so even they know <laughs> the saddest thing is they don't learn from that to be a better person than that but that's not your problem that's not our problem our problem is understanding that that is a time in your life that will soon be over eventually and you will look back on it and laugh Cause I look back on it and I laugh because it ain't nothing but a joke now. Though it did at the time, I'm gonna tell I will tell you, I done told you this at least three times. I wanted to die. Like I I it was a couple times I thought life would be better without me. I would be better without life. Like <laughs> sad a couple times. I contemplated just just not being alive. That's how terrible it, it felt at the time. But I swear it passes and you look back you smile you know you was young you know you would have did something differently or you know you don't know what you would have did you glad you did what you did whatever you did or you just it's nothing but a memory now <laughs> and that's that's a blessing to say it's nothing but a memory and though it can be a terrible one it's one that you can learn from so hopefully you guys learned something from this video and hopefully you like it and can get some sort of encouragement and some knowledge from being bullied to not being bullied to being bullies to not being bullies uh, whatever hopefully you learn and hopefully you like it make sure you subscribe to my page like comment subscribe tell me in the comments about sometimes you were bullied or if you were a bully mm. and you probably got your ass whooped after a while <laughs> But leave a comment, leave comments down in there. Tell me about your experiences because I'm sure we've all kind of went through something like this in life. I want to know yours and uh, maybe we can talk it out in the comments. And if you need some advice on bullying, I got you. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. But until next time, bye.